Have you ever wanted to show your pricing for your restaurant? Uh, if you have a menu on there, you have multiple different types of menus. Show your pricing for your restaurant, maybe your hair salon or something like that. Well, in this video, we're going to go ahead and cover how to do that with ease. Hey everyone, my name is Donald from Brainstorm Forest, and I make WordPress video tutorials of our products. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So this is the price list and it's a very well put together element. We have different layouts that you can choose from, whether you have stacked, inline, things of that nature, uh, with and without images, uh, complete styling capabilities for every aspect of it. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and search for price list and we're gonna click on the one that says UAEL on it. Click and drag that in here. And already, as you can see, we have a great looking pricing list as it is. So all we have to do is just enter our content and let's style it. So for the first item, we can go ahead and choose different things. So let's do deviled eggs. And from here, we can go ahead and change our description up to be whatever we want or we can remove the description altogether. Right here we have the price, so we can change the price right here. And then if we wanna offer a discount, we have that option to do that as well. For that, we have the image. We can go ahead and add images as we need, as you can see right there. And we can go ahead and link this entire priceless item to a specific page or section of the of the website so that's always a, a great functionality so from here we can do uh other pricing items so we can add second items and then we can change the pricing of it 90 dollars very expensive salmon uh offer it a discount add some images if we need to let's go ahead and do that and then we have uh like i said we have the link down here as well Let's go ahead and get rid of the third item for now. If you need to add more items, you're more than welcome to right here, and you can add a lot of different items. So whatever you want, just keep adding them. For the layout, we have a lot of different options. This is gonna give us the stacked look. So right now we have the image aligned left. If we wanna do top, we can do that. And we can also do right aligned as well. Let's stick with left for now. So the price position, we can do the right of the heading or we can do below the heading and description. We have those options. If we're gonna do the right of the heading, we can have these connector styles to be whatever we wish. And then we also have some other options such as overall alignment. So we can do left, center, and right aligned. And then we also have vertical alignment. So right now it's in the middle. So we can do top, middle, or the bottom. The minimum height, so we can set a minimum height for each of these. Let's go ahead and we can increase or decrease that depending on how, uh, how large we want each one. And this is great if you want to make them all the same height, no matter how long their descriptions are. So that's always good. And then we can add this stack on mobile, tablet, or always be in line. So those are those different options there. If we choose the top, you can see that it gets rid of some of the options. We only have overall alignment. And then we have a few other options here. As you can see on our examples, we have the stacked. We can go ahead and achieve that look right here with this. And then we have our stack with our pricing list items. And we can go ahead and make that look just as good. So let's go ahead and add some of these items here. So you can see we have our, our stacked look as we had on our, on our example that you saw previously. For the style, we have the space in between price items. So depending on how far apart you want them, you can go ahead and increase or decrease that. And of course, between the image and the content, you can increase and decrease that as well. We have background colors, so you can put background colors for each of them if you desire. Or you can have border types. We have those where we can make those have borders, or we can do box shadows. For the content area, we have the items that we can change. We have the title and we have the price and the description. So right here we have the title, we have a color, we can change that. 
we have the hover color. So whenever you hover, it changes a different color. Let's show that more prominently. There you go. So we can do that as well. And of course, our topography, we can increase or decrease the size, um, make this thicker. We can transform and make it uppercase. We have all of those options. And then title margins, we have those right here that we can do around the margins there. Description, we have all the same capabilities to edit as we did with the, with the title. And of course, the price. We have all of those different options to change the pricing, hover, the color, topography, and things of that nature. For the image area, we can actually change the image to size. So we can do the full image and it won't be as, as blurry. And then we have our width that we can change as well. So if we want that to be a little bit smaller. And of course, our border radius. So we have all of those different formats that you can choose. And as you can see here, we have this uh, setup right here. All we have to do in order to get something that looks similar to this is to have your section here. And then we can go ahead and copy this. And then from here, we can go ahead and get rid of that and add an image right into the middle of it right here. Let's pick a good image. Let's just pick a shoe for now. And then we can go ahead and style that as we need it so that it looks similar to the setup we had over there. I just don't have that image on my on this test site. So that's a great way to to get that look of the that's um, not your typical pricing list, but it's always a great way to make it look unique for your site. I hope you guys find this video useful. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And we will see you next time.